Top 20 games this Saturday, the first Saturday in December. You just heard Sean Miller, Harris guy, sit down and guard. And if they do that in this game, they can get out of here with a road victory. Mannion the rebound. And the Cats want to run. They have numbers. Here's yeah. Green. Pretty finish. How fast are they as a team, Arizona? That Utah lost last night. They, they could very well find themselves in the college football playoff, the winner of that game today. A huge game going on about 90 miles north of us. you got to bet that a lot of Baylor ah. fans are also fans of the LSU Tigers. Yeah, they will be. If Georgia loses, that opens the door Absolutely. for a Big 12 champion. There's two of them in this game. He was two-time All-Big South. And on the other side, Dylan Smith played at UNC Asheville as well. Whoever's recruiting at UNC Asheville, they're getting it done. How about wow. that? Mannion off the catch and fire. That's a, that's a pro point guard that can shoot it right there. Peace in that area. But uh, very, very comparable. Offensively, Nico Mannion's got it all. That three by Mannion was the first three by the Wildcats this afternoon. Here's Butler. And he answers with a three of his own. A really good sidestep by Butler. Triple of the year. He's shooting over 52% from beyond the arc. That one off the mark. Gillespie the rebound. Good hard double team on Zeke Naji by Scott Drew. Not letting Naji get going in this ball game. Baylor is now plus six in the rebounding department. That's going to be a key all game. Got him. Butler got him up in the air and got the foul. He got him. Veteran move from Jared Butler, the sophomore. Yeah, Dylan Smith is a kid guarding who played his freshman year at UNC Asheville. Wired to score. At 6-5, they watch the ball fake. Boom. There you go. Come on in to me, and I'll leave the floor and get myself to the free throw line. Here's first two of the afternoon. So if you're sitting home thinking, okay, to the Oregon, I, I think he's one of the best parts we have in college ball. Cole single-handedly out-rebounded Arizona by himself last year. What more do you need to know about this guy? Watch the bubble drive. Uh, good job. Uh, Baylor just to blow that dribble hand off up by Vital. That's he got him, though. Heads up play by Nico Mannion, and he'll go to the line and shoot two for the first time this afternoon. Just a little over aggressive by Vidal. Should, should have backed off another step because he's got three or four inches on him. But Vidal's going to fight now, and Nico Mannion is so clever, so good with his feet. He doesn't travel, doesn't lose. Is that part of your notes, by yeah. the way? Yeah. Liberty. The Flames. Yeah. Yes. Fight as a group defensively, and, and, and I want to see Cowan trapping the life out of him. And a 7 2 guy with a long wingspan with a whip around. And there might be a lot of fans up in Arlington for the Baylor football team, but they're loud inside the Ferrell Center now. And one for Jared Butler. His first assist on the year. Am I right? No, his second. That was a beauty. 49, holding a high-powered Arizona offense to under 50 points. It's much the same this afternoon on Baylor's home court. Yeah, when, when you turn it over 11 times like Arizona did the first half, just a little bit of a sign of, of just not playing through. But he's got everything. I, I've seen one thing that you think, can he do this? Other than, will he be a willing defender and can he get on the defensive board? Look at that pass. That, yeah, that's the Arizona offense that you know is just... Yeah. I'd say you need to be a little bit of a junkyard dog yeah, if you're going to yeah. get involved in that. Won a national championship with IMG with Jeremiah Robinson Earl, the fabulous yeah. freshman from Villanova. What a great closeout by Josh Green. We won't go back and show it, but... It was as good of a closeout as you can have when he was out of position. Back off of him. He's got a bad shot. Kicked off goes. by Meyer, but stolen away by Mannion. A winning play by Nico Mannion. Off to the left. Both teams struggling mightily to score. Green out of control. Loose ball. Oh, Here's Butler. Man. I thought I thought Dylan Smith for Arizona, number three in red. He had a chance now to dive and give up his. Here's Josh Green. He's been quiet. Nowhere to go with two bigs of Arizona locked in on the box. Three the guard, minutes left. Yeah, they, on the shot. The clock. guards have nowhere to penetrate. And Nico Mannion. Once again, uses that shot fake to his advantage. Yeah, two or three times every game film that I've watched on him. Second half. Him. Two for two. So yeah. Mannion now with inbound the ball. 
The reigning Pac-12 freshman of the week. Gets it to Dylan Smith. If you're Baylor, you have the possession arrow, so Scott Drew should remind his guys, on a tie ball, don't call a timeout. It's going to be ours. We've got two timeouts left. They have none. Let's make sure we... Mitchell's the best on-ball defender for Scott. Arizona's going to be shooting two free throws on every subsequent... Butler one for two. It's a two-possession ball game. 18th-ranked Baylor looking to knock off undefeated 12th-ranked Arizona. 30 seconds left. Yeah, Baylor moved their defense up a little bit to buy a little bit of time. And now Baylor goes to the zone. They've played only about 15 possessions of it all year. Mannion baseline. Good shovels find. it to Jeter. Got it blocked. Rich, you cannot miss. And the undefeated Arizona Wildcats. A lot of confusion. Yeah, they good tried job. for the lob. Good hands by T. But the There's the circle by Mannion. They get it into Najee. Isolate spread. Isolate spread. Letting drive. Go, man. You got to make a play. You got to make a play. Here he is, the floater. There and it, it goes. Yep. 11.8 left. Now you got to get up, and if you don't get the keels above the three, everybody, if you're Baylor, it's a three-point game. Green for the tie. No. Baylor gets it. And a foul called with 0.8 seconds left. Guarantee what would be overtime if Arizona could. Baylor holding the fourth best scoring offense in the nation at 87 points a game to just 58 on their home floor. Yeah. Two really, and that'll do it. There's two really, really good teams. They're a threat to go deep in March.